What's going on, guys? I have been bothered since yesterday. So I did not record a video yesterday, but while I was at work, I went to a rail yard in a pretty ghetto area. And it's really torn up and everything's, you know, as you would expect a place like that to look. And I saw this thing when I was coming up, like, the big drive path to go, uh, you know, like, go get scanned and checked it. And I saw this thing walking around, and I was like, oh, it looks like a stray cat. But as I, I got closer, I saw it was a puppy. And it looked very emaciated and scared. Like, I could see all of its ribs. I felt terrible. It definitely had not eaten in a while. And this thing was, like, it's like that big, maybe. Like, it could fit in my lunch bag if I wanted it to. Um, so I, I cut it off because it, it was running towards the street where there's too much view obstruction and you got a bunch of crazy people driving. And I was like, oh, no, he's for sure going to get hit by a car. So I cut him off in my semi truck and he stopped. But I got out and I tried to get him to come to me. I, I got my um, I went in my lunch bag and grabbed one of my meals. And I was like, I don't need this. And he said, it's puppy. So I opened it up and, like, tried to get him to come to me, but he was really scared, and, I, you know, the truck is super loud, so that does not help. Uh, so he ran away from me. I tried to get him, like, I followed him for a little bit, but then I just had a, I got in my truck and checked in really quick, and I, I drove around, because he, he ran into the rail yard at that point, like, up a little hill that obviously I can't drive up, and I like, drove around and went over to him. And, and a guy in the pickup truck there, he even stopped and he was like, hey, is that your dog? I was like, no, no, but I'm trying to save him. He's like, all right, he's over there. And he had run across train tracks. And the way these rail yards are laid out is there's like train tracks upon train tracks that they're like coming in and getting staged and unloaded. So there's there's, a, there's an ass load of train tracks all rode up. And he, he ran over on another side of one. And I tried to go over to him. I, I, I found him again. I got out of my truck because he... He decided to run into an area that was under construction, so I could not access it with my vehicle. So I got out and I tried to, I tried to, I tried to get him to come to me again, but he, he really did not trust me. Uh, so he just kept trotting on down the tracks um, the other direction that I was going, and I'm just, I'm super bothered by it because I, I tried for a while and then I was like, all right. The way he's going, I'll get in my truck, I'll drive around the train to the other end, and I'll go around there, and I'll, I'll, I'll catch him on the other side. Well, I drove down there, and the train was blocking off the fucking um, the path to drive over the tracks. So I was like, fuck. And I, So then I, I drove back to where I was, and he was nowhere to be found. I, I went up and down all those tracks. I even waited until the train that was blocking that path left, because there was, like, nowhere else he could have really gone i couldn't find him anywhere even if the train left and i was i was very scared he was gonna like get squashed by a train um but i i i drove around looking for him everywhere and i couldn't i couldn't find this puppy and I'm, it's been really eating me up since yesterday because like in my head after i i called so i called animal uh control because i was like okay um maybe they'll come in here and they could find him and get him and I left my number to, for them to give me an update. And I was like, so they can give me an update and tell me where they take him. And then I can go pick him up and take care of him. Um, I'll pay all his vet bills. I'll do everything. I just want this puppy to be okay. But, like, they didn't even fucking get back to me. And it was, like, 5 p.m. when this happened. So I don't even, like, I doubt they even fucking went out there. And, and to get a random vehicle, it's not like a semi-truck to access the rail yard. It's very unlikely. So, like, I, 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 I kind of wish I did not do that. So I wasted time calling animal control, but what I, what I could have, like, I, what I should have done was I should have just chased this puppy up the tracks and grabbed him. Like, I should have just let him bite me if I needed to get stitched. I could have just got stitches, but I, I should have just did that and got him in the truck and, and um, took him home. That's what I should have did, and I didn't fucking do it, and it's really bothering me. I've been I've been super anxious since yesterday. I'm, I'm actually, I'm driving... I'm driving over to that rail yard right now. I went and like, I mean, this is a this is a hail mary, but I I went to a Walgreens last night and I picked up uh, I picked up some dog treats and a little can of dog food because I think maybe I, I could throw the treats to him and like kind of bread uh, breadcrumb trail into me, up uh, and, and like maybe give him some food to get him to uh, warm up to me a little bit. But like this is a shot in the dark here because like, in all likelihood he's probably not fucking there. 
Um, but I'm praying maybe he is because I'm about to go drive up and down that whole fucking place looking for him again. But it's been a whole day at this point. Um, it's been like 20 hours. So, like, I, he's he's most likely not there, but I'm, I'm going to try anyway. And I'm, I'm probably going to get more anxious when I don't find him, but I'm, I got to make the effort because that, that really bothered me. Um, man, that's, it stinks. It really, I don't like it. So, anyway, that's what's, I know it's kind of long-winded. It's kind of what's been on my mind. Uh, but, uh, I guess, I guess we'll, we'll shift the subject a little bit. So, like, workout-wise... Um, like things went great last night. Like, I, I, I mean, I had a hard time getting in the zone when I was lifting because I was worried about this fucking puppy the whole time. My girlfriend was at the gym with me and I even stopped. I stopped like five different times because <laughs> she would come up to me and like take her headphone out to like tell me something. And every time I would tell her, I was like, I can't stop thinking about that puppy. And I like, I, I like the workout was good, but like my, I mentally was not in the game because I was so concerned about this, this goddamn puppy. Um, so I'm going to go back there right now and I'm, I'm going to try and, and find him. I, I'm praying, I'm praying I do because I'm going to, I'm going to do the right thing this time. And I'm just going to grab him. And, and if he bites me, he bites me, but I, I'm going to save him because he, he looks like he had not eaten in a long time. See all of his ribs. It was terrible. So, uh, yeah, I know this isn't like the exact, you know, usual shit I'm talking about, but, uh, I don't know. I, I need to talk about it. I, I really need to talk about it somewhere because it's uh, very disturbing to me. I, I don't know why people can't take care of their animals. Like every time I, I see a stray, I want to take them home with me. And it, it really breaks my heart. So, uh, yeah, I know it's kind of a Debbie Downer video, but anyway, I, uh, I hope everyone has a good rest of their day. I'm, uh, I'm hurrying as fast as I can over this place, and I'm going to go uh, take a look and see if I can find them.